Hello, it's Casey. It's Friday morning and I'm kind of like gross and just out of bed looking and Jonathan and Nikolai are in the shower, which is apparently a good time for me to film things. I'm drinking my coffee, which is like the highlight of my day. Um, and this afternoon we are going to get my prize that I get for actually going through with my infusion on Tuesday. So I'm going to take you guys with me to get my prize and I am pretty excited about it. We're going to go do some errands as a family. Um, to We're going to do like exciting things like get milk and then also go to Dick's Sporting Goods to get my prize. So I'm now here in my bedroom being slightly blinded and I wanted to tell you what my prize is and why I'm getting it. Oh, the sun is funny. So the prize that I'm getting later today is we are going to Dick's Sporting Goods, like I said, to get adjustable dumbbells. And it's been really important to me the whole time that I have been sick with psoriatic arthritis to keep doing some sort of physical activity. And that's been really, really difficult because of all the joint pain and the fatigue and having a baby and using up my energy on other things and, you know, the fact that it's hard to hold a weight when your fingers are in pain, it's hard to do things like squats or lunges when your knees are in pain or any arm exercises when your elbows and stuff are in pain. So I've been using really light weights and I've been heavily modifying all of the different workouts that I've done and doing a lot of stretching and things like that. Um, but through pregnancy and through um, just sort of having my own mobility decrease over time because of the undiagnosed psoriatic arthritis, I've gotten really good at modifying everything that I do. So I've been able to modify and adapt and continue exercising, at least in some capacity, four to six days a week through this whole process and I think that's been really really instrumental for me for morale just like feeling like my body can still do some things even if it's only for like 20 to 30 minutes a day and also maintaining some mobility and um you know keeping keeping the stiffness down because if I don't move I get a lot stiffer and so that's been really great, and Jonathan has really encouraged me to do that, and my healthcare providers really, really encouraged me to do that. So I've actually upped what I do a bit since starting to see my current uh, rheumatology team because they're really um, pro exercise. So we're going to get adjustable dumbbells today that I have wanted for months because I do the fitness blender workouts and that's what they use and I will show you here what I currently have. These are the weights that I have been using. Um, I've got my three pound, my five pound, my eight pound, and my 15 pound kettlebell. Those are, these are just my knee braces, which I wear all the time. They were actually a Christmas gift from Jonathan and I told him that they were my best Christmas gift um, because Things like the knee braces have allowed me to keep exercising through the psoriatic arthritis. So I'm very, very excited to get to replace these weights that only go up to 8 pounds. We used to have access to heavier weights in our fitness room and over at the Y, but it's hard to get over there with the baby. So we're finally going to get adjustable weights today, and I am psyched. We're in the car on the way to get my prize. Would you like to elaborate this, on what your prize is? John, you want to I told them earlier while you were in the shower what, what the prize was. Oh. Nikolai's back there. Look, there's there's Nikolai. Can you say hi? He's waving. So your first prize for your first treatment, right? Yeah, I tried it. Ooh, I'm, I'm very bad at mobile vlogging <laughs> because we live in Troy, New York. Troy, New, New York. Now, they're, now they know where we live, they're going to dox us. Okay. It's dangerous. No, it's okay. We're Please going... Tell we're, him to find me. I'm ready for him. Jonathan's ready for you to find him. We're, um, I'm much cleaner than I was this morning when I was telling you what we were doing. Now we're actually on the way. 
Nikolai wants to be part of this situation. <laughs> now we're on our way, and he's up from his nap. He's waving again. And we're gonna drive there, and we're gonna get my prize, and I'm really excited about it because um, apparently the promise of possibly feeling better wasn't enough of a prize for me to go <laughs> through the infusion. I actually needed a physical prize, which in case you're wondering where that concept came from, when I was a kid, I was like terrible at going to school and I hated school because it was traumatizing to me and also highly boring. So whenever I made it through a school year without uh, like failing from missing too many days, uh, sometimes, not every year, often I would get a prize. So for instance, one time I got a bike, like my adult bike, and one time I got a guitar. So this is like that this is like my prize for getting my first infusion and it's also like a hope for the future because it's it's exercise equipment which you have to be able to use your body parts to use so it's like it's shows, an inspiration it's inspirational yeah do you have anything else to say about that uh, about nope. this adventure not really all right well we'll see you there we're here yay oh. So I was reading an article about the best shoes for psoriatic arthritis and they said Crocs. But I, I'm not going to get any Crocs today. Good. <laughs> Two, three. That's a good size for <laughs> I ended up having to use the scooter to get around because I was really tired and in lots of pain. And then when Jonathan was moving the box of dumbbells, he lifted it up by one side and the dumbbells escaped out the other side. So, not as seamless of an adventure as we would have hoped, but we've escaped with dumbbells nonetheless. So we're back from our mission. We've actually been back from our mission for a while, but we had to have dinner and give Nikolai dinner and send him to bed to stop making... He's making sounds with this little piece of styrofoam, and I'm not about it. Um, so we're going to show you what we purchased, because I didn't show it to you while we were at the store, because Nikolai was playing on a bike, and then I was feeling yucky, and then I had to ride around on a motorized scooter to get to the bathroom, because it was really far in the other end of the store, and Nikolai pooped, and Jonathan had to change his diaper, and <laughs> then Jonathan went to move the weights from the checkout counter back into the basket and the box Exploded. flew open and the weights fell to the ground and so anyway there was a lot of activity and here we are i had to take a rest for a while after we got home so let's let's see let's see them i they're they're weights so they're heavy so this is what they're all about you got to bring it closer to the camera so they can see they have these things, and they fit around these, this, to make it heavier and lighter. You put it down? Watch. I did, but they can't see oh. it. It's on the ground. And then... Anyway, you adjust it, and you can make it as light as 3 pounds and as heavy as 25 pounds, and I'm pretty excited to use them in a little while. And in a second, we're going to adjust it so that it's like a medium weight that I can lift and we're going to take an action shot and it's going to be really cool. There you go. So here they are. They're set to nine pounds right now. So you could like do some exercises like some bicep curls, but they're kind of clanky. I don't know. I don't know about that. They're clankier. Than I was expecting. They kind of move around a little bit. The people in the YouTube videos that I watch that use these weights, you can't tell they're clanking. So I'm not sure. That might annoy me. They're like shifting around. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I have the receipt. But I like them so far. Do this one. <laughs> oh, I'm very strong. I don't overdo it. The end. <laughs> Yay!